So about a month and a half ago, GSJJ reached out to me offering to work on an enamel pin and I've been working for the past couple of weeks with them, um, designing the pins and going through the whole production process. And I wanted to share the process with you guys in this video. I know a lot of you guys are also interested in making your own pins, stickers, and shop products. So I figured this could help you guys out and, and give you some ideas moving forward and developing new products. I never created an enamel pin before. I only recently began um, my sticker designing journey. So I was like, super excited to work with them and create a design I was happy with and something you guys would really enjoy. So big thank you to GSJJ for sponsoring this video and working with me to turn my artwork into an enamel pin. Before I get into the design process, here's a bit more about GSJJ, who they are, and what products they offer. GSJJ.com is a one-stop service and manufacturer of various products like lapel pins, patches, challenge coins, medals, belt buckles, keychains, lanyards, wristbands, and so much more. Their mission is to provide the best quality products at highly competitive prices and on-time delivery. They have been in the manufacturing of promotional gifts merchandise for over 20 years and wholesale direct to some of the biggest distributors, franchise operators, and high-end customers in America and around the world. They also offer stickers and enamel pins, both like soft and hard enamel pins from small quantities to bulk. The direct enamel pins maker provides you with professional advice and low cost quotations, which I feature later in this video and really helps you get an estimate on how much ordering uh, pins is going to cost. From production to delivery, their fastest turnaround time is five days for most orders. For any quality problems, they can refund in full and you only need to provide an idea and they will turn your digital art into wearable art. Thank you again, GSJJ, for reaching out to me and offering me this opportunity to design these pins. I'm super excited, so let's get into the design process. So for designing this pin, the original design of it was inspired by a sticker design I created back in May. It was the first sticker on my shop to sell out and you guys seem to really like the strawberry saw design. So so I was excited to create a different version of him in a pin form. I knew I still wanted it to be the same subject and pose, but I knew for a successful pin design that would be even smaller than the sticker, it would be best and most successful to simplify everything and um, get rid of some of the details to make it more readable at a smaller scale. So I reworked the line art and I brought it into Photoshop to alter the colors and then moved it into Illustrator to turn it to a vector and smooth out some of the lines and make the work as clear as possible. Then I sent the design into GSJJ and they got to work turning the design into an actual pin, making sure I approved of them before moving forward. Then moving on to pricing and estimates, uh, GSJJ's price estimates are super helpful in figuring out an affordable price, especially for like a small shop owner. So first you uploaded your design to the website i uploaded mine as a photoshop document you choose your metal finish which i chose a black metal finish for this design and then you choose your uh enamel finish so like hard soft and there's they have a bunch of different variety i ended up choosing a soft enamel finish for this pin then i selected a size i want the design to be i chose a an inch and a quarter measurements for this pin i'm not sure if for international they have different metrics like center meters and stuff like that i don't know if they offer that if you say you're in uh if you're outside the u.s but this is what it shows up on the website as um i chose no epoxy dome um i did want a glitter color for saul so i'm adding on glitter color for the hat and the collar i chose a rubber clutch for the pins and then i chose a simple poly bag for shipping and then no paper card backing but this is what i really like about gsjj the farther you plan out the design production the more of a discount you can get for this estimate i went with a basic 10 business days of waiting for production and then three to five days for shipping which gave me a 10 percent discount which is great and if you can wait the full 30 days i believe it's a 30 percent discount which is really good i ended up selecting a small batch of 50 pins so since i'm still starting out my shop i won't be ordering huge amounts since i don't have that large of a demand so here is the final price 197 dollars and seven cents for 50 pins and it's free shipping and they give you the pin mold price and the unit price as well and i believe it was 179 euros uh 262 Canadian dollars and 293 Australian dollars for this estimate. But yeah, shipping is free to, to um, the United States, Canada, and Europe. I highly encourage you to just mess around and input a design and figure out settings for your own um, pin design just for fun. And it's, it's kind of surprising to find that like the prices are 
pretty reasonable and um, they can match your budget with whatever you need. But I definitely see this being immensely helpful for preparing for shop launches or art fairs in the future and great for if you want to plan ahead, especially getting that 30% discount from doing 30 days in advance. Sorry for the absolutely deranged look I've been um, drawing all day and the pins just came and I really wanted to film a honest and true reaction for you guys. So I'm super excited. I just got them in this morning and wait to see how they turn out. All right, let's see. <gasps> Yo! I think there's like about 50 in here, so I'm super excited. Oh my gosh! Bro, wait, I should show it to this camera. Oh my god. These are so cute! He turned out so well. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. This is great. <laughs> that was my actual reaction. I like whipped out both cameras as soon as I got the package and really wanted to have an authentic reaction. But I was really impressed by the clarity and quality of the design. And the glitter color turned out really well. Like I really love how it looks and it matches the concept I had for him so well. I would probably go with a larger design next time. But I think keeping things small this time um, made things more manageable and it would be easier to ship in the future with my shop launch. Uh, furthermore, it'd be fun to make a matching uh, blueberry bell pin since I've made a blueberry bell sticker for June shop launch or pinned them together. But now the process seems a lot less daunting and I'm excited to expand what I can offer in my shop. But yeah, by the time this video goes out, my shop is now open. You could get the strawberry saw pin and pick from a ton of new sticker designs that I have from mermaids, cowboys, you name it, I got it. Um, you can sign up for my email newsletter to be reminded and updated on more shop launches and future discounts. And uh, by the way, all my stickers are able to be shipped worldwide and I'm trying to make the pins available worldwide. By the time of me recording this, I'm not sure, but maybe by the time of me editing this, I will um, know. So that'll be up on the screen now. Um, but yeah, also follow me on Instagram if you guys wanna be updated on that as well. Big thank you again to GSJJ for um, sponsoring this video and helping me create my first enamel pin. Um, I definitely want to create more pins and if you're interested in doing the same you can click the links down below and check out the GSJJ website for you to get started on your on your own design process. So I'm super excited for this month's shop launch. It definitely was a long time. It definitely took a lot more um, time than I thought it would, but I really, I really want to be proud of the designs and the quality of, and the quality of products I'm offering to you guys. So I hope you guys like them as well, and hope this video helped you if you're interested in designing your own pins. And if you're interested in more shop content or art content, um, you can like and subscribe, and then also. Follow me on Instagram for more sketchbook content. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good weekend and yeah, see you next week. Bye.